Hello YouTube, this is Q Dragon, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of biology. Researchers at Tulane University have discovered a bacteria that converts cellulose into butanol. Cellulose is, of course, the fibrous material found in all plant matter, including paper. Butanol is a biofuel similar to ethanol, but with several advantages, such as being less corrosive, containing more energy, and requiring no technical modifications. 323 million tons of material containing cellulose are thrown out each year. But with this bacteria, that could all potentially be turned into fuel. This is an extremely promising and inexpensive way to produce biofuels, with cost further reduced by the fact that the bacteria doesn't require a special environment. Sometime in the near future, you can be filling up your car with fuel made from recycled paper. But another alternative fuel appears from the world of chemistry. Scientists from the University of Southern California have developed a safe and effective way to store and use hydrogen. Hydrogen has many advantages as a fuel, but storing it as a compressed gas is a bitch. Plus there are risks involved in transporting and distributing hydrogen. But the team at USC have found a way to store it as a stable solid. More importantly, they developed a way to release the stored hydrogen with a catalyst. The system is reusable and efficient enough to power cars. And now we turn to the world of medicine. A team at MIT are developing biological computers meant to detect and destroy cancer cells. These biological computers are essentially tiny circuits made from genes. And this circuit is triggered by five separate molecules only present in cancer cells. If all the molecules are detected, the computer triggers cell death. Initial research was focused on creating the molecular profile for a specific cancer. However, functioning of the computers in a petri dish experiment are promising. The next stage of testing will be in live animal models. A big challenge for this method is delivery of the devices, which will be a focus of future research. Our final story returns us to the environment. An international research team will soon be experimenting in Iceland to store carbon dioxide in rocks. 90% of Iceland has basalt rock under it. The plan is to pump carbonated water deep underground to form limestone. Under pressure, the carbonated water would become carbonic acid, which would then react with the basalt to form calcium carbonate. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to give some of my opinion on this story. I actually think this technology is stupid. For one, there are many things the researchers say could go wrong. And even if the system did work, it would require a massive construction of infrastructure for it to be worthwhile. Reading the full article, you just get the feeling it's a desperate attempt to do something about climate change. As the first two stories today showed, we shouldn't need to take such drastic measures. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing 
and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also, I know they're boring, but if you haven't already, please click the annotation to watch the update video I posted last week. There are some important announcements. Thanks.